Hello everyone and welcome back to another lesson of science with Fusion Book for Grade 3. So now let's open to page 138. Here we have the title Migration and we'll see how some of the animals migrate from one area to another. Basically migrating from cold areas uh, to a little bit warmer areas. Let's continue with the text here and we will see some examples here. We have basically two examples. Example of the uh, whale. Okay, and here, uh, continue, uh, let's continue. Some animals are travelers. Some whales make a yearly trip from some place cold to some place warm and back. Animals migrate. When uh, animals migrate when they move a long distance as a group from one region to another and back. Whales swim to a warm place to mate. They swim to a different spot to give birth. Then they swim back to where they were to find food. Many animals, including birds and fish, migrate. Whales and some other animals teach their young the way to go. The path the animals take is learned, but knowing when to migrate is an instinct. So basically here we have also to deal with the, uh, uh, with the instinct and also the behavior. So the path or the way, where and uh, which way to migrate this one is learned. This behavior is learned behavior. However, knowing when, what time to migrate, this is an instinctual behavior. Let's see the first, uh, the first example here. Gray whales have one of the longest migration routes to any mammal. Sorry, of any mammal. They travel up to 20, 21,000 kilometers each year. Gray whales swim from the cold Arctic to warm Mexico to have their young. Now, continuing with the next example. In the winter, when the land freezes over, over the Arctic, sorry, over in the Arctic, uh, tundra swans fly to the warmer south. When the weather warms up, the swans return to the Arctic. There they mate and wait for their eggs to hatch. So here, with the purple color, we have the route of migration for uh, the whales and with the uh, orange color here as you can see from now from north coming uh, to the south we have the uh, route of the swans that they migrate let's see here some animals use the sun and stars to find their way uh, that's an instinct some animals learn migration routes from other animals. And here we have also, uh, we have a problem here, which uh, the students are supposed to do. They are supposed to do a graph. So here you have two animals, here the whales and the swans. And basically you read this one and you should be able to do the graph. Thank you very much. That's it for today and see you in another lesson.